my name is Sarah Linklater and I'm Chief Scientific Officer with JDRF Canada. Thank you for tuning in. In today's Let's Talk Research vlog, I'm going to be talking to you about hypoglycemia or going low. And this is one of the most concerning aspects of living with type 1 diabetes. Hypoglycemia is difficult to predict because there are actually dozens of factors that can cause blood sugar to vary, especially in people with type 1 diabetes who are always at risk. Having too much insulin on board is one of the things that can cause blood sugar to drop. Other factors include prolonged or intensive exercise, skipping a meal, or drinking alcohol. So how do you know if you're experiencing hypoglycemia? The severity of hypoglycemia can vary from mild and moderate to severe, which is what we really worry about. Mild and moderate hypoglycemia is usually defined as having a blood sugar of below four millimole per liter, and symptoms can include dizziness, confusion, nausea, problems with vision or speech, and shakiness. Severe hypoglycemia is usually defined as having a much lower blood sugar level and usually requires another person to help treat it. Symptoms can include those same ones we just mentioned, but also loss of consciousness, seizure, and severe hypoglycemia can also be life-threatening. Fortunately, there are a number of new options available or on the way to help prevent and manage hypoglycemia. And today I want to tell you about some of the new innovations and the research that JDRF is funding in Canada in this area. First though, it's important to mention that it's very important to work with your healthcare provider team in finding personalized strategies to manage and prevent hypoglycemia for you. We are fortunate that we now have several new devices on the market for managing diabetes. For example, we have continuous glucose monitors or CGMs and flash glucose monitors, which like standard blood glucose monitoring with strips can be used if you take insulin by injection or by a pump. And these new monitoring technologies can alarm the user to tell them that they're going low and they can sometimes also allow the user to be more proactive at managing blood sugar and preventing lows. We now also have systems that enable communication between a CGM and an insulin pump that can suspend insulin delivery when this person starts to go low. In an artificial pancreas or hybrid closed loop system, insulin is regulated on a continuing basis by these two devices communicating together. A lot of these technological innovations have been really advanced by the work of JDRF and it's very exciting to see many of these devices coming to market more and more each year. However, we recognize that not everybody can afford or has access to these new technologies, and that is something that JDRF is trying very hard to change through advocacy. Another exciting development in this area has been the approval and availability of Vaccini, or nasal glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone produced by the healthy pancreas that prevents hypoglycemia. Rescue therapy for hypoglycemia in somebody with type 1 diabetes usually involves mixing powdered glucagon into solution and delivering it with a syringe. So this new product is a real improvement on that because it involves a single puff of glucagon in the nose, whether the person is conscious or unconscious. And this new drug is really a Canadian success story. It was discovered and developed right here in Canada, which is amazing. As with injectable glucagon, Baximi is not right for everybody, so be sure to discuss with your healthcare team or pharmacist if Baximi is right for you. I'd like to spend the last few minutes telling you about some of the exciting work that JDRF is funding in the area of hypoglycemia right here in Canada. In Edmonton, we are supporting the work of Dr. Patrick McDonald, who is studying the cells that make glucagon in a healthy pancreas, called alpha cells, to understand exactly how they work and how we can better protect people with type 1 diabetes from hypoglycemia. In Toronto, JDRF is supporting the work of Dr. Shirley Wu, who has developed a microneedle glucagon patch that is designed to be worn like a band-aid to protect a person from ever going low. Although this product has not yet been tested in clinical trials, the idea is that this patch could be worn any time a person was at risk of going low, such as prolonged exercise, a long drive, or even just going to sleep at night. In Vancouver and Toronto, JDRF is supporting a company called Zucara Therapeutics, who is developing a drug that can be taken alongside insulin therapy that will prevent a person from going low. And the company is beginning clinical testing of their drug in trials this year. And last but not least, in Montreal, JDRF is supporting Remy Rabassa Lore and colleagues, whose team is building an online training platform and a registry, all geared around hypoglycemia prevention and management. If you are a person living with type 1 in Quebec, I would encourage you to check the study out at the link below and consider enrolling. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed this overview of innovations in hypoglycemia prevention and treatment. For more about the research that we fund, please visit jdrf.ca. And if you enjoyed this video, please share on social media. 
We'd be happy to hear any feedback that you have and any ideas you may have for future vlogs. Thanks again and thank you for your interest in JDRF.